welcome here to Talk FCB, and welcome to the latest Barca embarrassment in the Champions League. Because heading tonight to Benfica, we had not high hopes. We're not going to say here that we were massively expecting going into this game. We said beforehand that you just don't know this season what sort of Barca that you're going to get. However, no matter what, doesn't matter what excuses you want to throw up, doesn't matter what injuries you have as a team, doesn't matter what we've gone through over the summer, going to Benfica and losing by three, I repeat, three goals... It's unacceptable. You do not get away with this, not as Barcelona players, and certainly not as the Barca coach. For me tonight, we've made unwanted history. We have fallen so far behind in our Champions League group. Ronald Koeman cannot continue. He cannot continue. Not a single second longer. It's time to go right now. Because indeed, tonight, Ronald Koeman's Barcelona side set more unwanted records indeed, losing there our first two group stage matches of this Champions League campaign. Also, this is only Benfica's second victory ever over Barca. The last one came in 1961. Tonight, though, they didn't just win. It wasn't a case here of losing to a Benfica team that maybe wasn't justified, wasn't really warranted. This was a demolition job against Benfica. Now, look, no disrespect. Benfica this season have been very, very solid. They haven't lost a game. They're unbeaten this season. They are a good team with good players throughout their squad. But it's a joke. You cannot lose this game 3-0. And I'll start with the lineup because this for me is already, before we've even got out on the field, before we've even started the game, we are all looking at that lineup thinking, Ronald Koeman, what are you doing? Now, that's not the first time I've thought that, admittedly, but before the game, I could not believe what Koeman had done. Because you think back to Sunday against Levante. Now, yes, I know Levante are not Benfica. It's a more difficult game. We all understand that. But how positive we were on Sunday. We lined up there with the back four. We lined up with three forwards. And what did we do under Alfred Schroeder? Of course, the instructions we assume came from Koeman. But with Schroeder on the touchline, we attacked the game. We were very very, very positive from the very first moment we went at Levante. We got our reward there with a confident performance. So what does Koeman do coming into this game? He thinks, OK, I am going to take all of that spirit, all of that positivity from Sunday and see that bin over there. There it goes. Because Koeman lines up with a back three, with five defenders effectively there, out on the field. It's negative, it's timid. He plays there Roberta over Mingetha. What did Mingetha do to get dropped? What exactly has he done over the past few games to warrant here being excluded from a game like this? Mingetha has been nothing but solid, nothing but productive on that right-hand side. But as soon as Roberto's back fit, yeah, OK, Roberto straight back in the team. He puts Pedri straight back in the team immediately after his injury. And he just goes with two forwards. He drops the third man. He starts with Luke de Jong. And it was a disaster. Before we even started, Ronald Koeman had dug his own grave. And you know what? It actually gets worse. Because yes, we started the game in the worst possible way. And it really was a truly horrendous start in a big European game away from home. What you don't want to do is invite the home team onto you. That's what five at the back does. It's saying basically, OK, first thought in our mind is let's protect that defence. Let's make sure here we're nice and solid, nice and organised. Which, by the way, we're not anyway. We just as well go out there and try and score because we are not good defensively. So I don't really understand that approach anyway. But of course, Darwin, Nunes driving down the left-hand side, weaving his way past Roberto, past Eric Garcia, beating Ter Stegen at the near post. Benfica there leading inside the opening three minutes. Now, furthering on from that, Pique gets himself booked. He's then throwing himself into the challenges. I don't know whether Pique actually wanted to get himself sent off. Maybe he thought, you know what, I'd rather not be out here. Because honestly, you could understand that given the way we were playing. But anyway, Pique gets taken off. Gavi comes on, who, by the way, should have started the game too. No reason reason at all to just discard Gavi given the way he played against Levante. But then as Pique comes off the field, you then think, OK, Ronald, it's early enough in the game here to revert back to type. Let's go four at the back. Let's have a midfield. Let's have some forwards there who can threaten. And let's try and get ourselves back in this game. But no, 
What does he do? He takes our most creative midfield player. De Jong was having a really good game because even though we conceded, we were still creating chances. He takes De Jong from that midfield, puts him in the back line, puts him there as a centre back. Why? What are you doing? Why would you do that? It is ridiculous. I just don't get it from Koeman. It makes absolutely no sense. So then all we're left with basically in that first half is a few long balls up to Luke de Jong. We actually created some chances there for the big striker. And what I want to say about this, because we all know Luke de Jong was only brought in because of Koeman. That is no secret. Koeman wanted him. He had faith in him. And tonight... It was embarrassing. And I almost felt bad at some stage for Luke de Jong because he looked so out of place there with the chances that he had in front of goal because they were so easy. There was one there where it slid into him from Frankie de Jong. He's got an open goal. It's right there. Just tap it in. Just tap the ball in the net. But he doesn't even make good contact with it. It is so, so bad. He missed another one later on. And the commentator actually summed this up very, very well on Luke de Jong. You know what he said? He said, Luke de Jong is playing like somebody who looks like he can't believe he's playing for Barca. And you cannot argue with that. He almost looks at times like a player, for me, who's won a competition. He's won the chance to play in a game for Barca. He missed crucial chances tonight. He continues to be in the team. He continues there to be Ronald Koeman's chosen starting striker. And again tonight, what he has done is let him down. Obviously, though, guys, in the second half, things went from bad to worse. We did try and make a few changes there in and around the 70th minute mark. But immediately after Ronald Koeman made a triple change, Benfica doubled their lead. Rafa Silva it was who got the goal, but there was very, very scruffy sort of defending there from Barca. We didn't close down the ball. We didn't get the ball clear. Bouncing around. We were lucky not to concede before that when Ter Stegen rushed out of his goal for no apparent reason. Rafa Silva there with the second goal. Before 10 minutes from time, the embarrassment was completed as Darwin Nunes, he looks like a very, very good striker, by the way. He's got a penalty there after Dest handled the ball in the area. Benfica nil, Barca three, at this point, you were just thinking, how on earth is Koeman going to survive this? Because just look again. Just look again at the stats. It's exactly the same as against Bayern. We've come here today against Benfica. We conceded three. Not only that, though, no shot on target. Not a shot on target. What that means? That means we played two Champions League games so far this season. In both of them, we didn't hit the target. I don't care who you are. I don't care what problems you have. If you're the Barca coach and you cannot set up your team to get a shot on target in the Champions League in two games, you've got no place here. You have no future here. And just remember, guys, this is the man who said, thanks to me, this club has a future. <laughs> Because on that future, you can see right here, Barca in the Champions League this season are in real trouble right now. We are bottom of the group. Many people are saying, you know what, I'm very, very worried about falling into the Europa League. Well, how about this? We're not even qualifying for that right now. We are in fourth place there. Two games played, no points on the board. That's just damning. No goals scored, not a shot. Six conceded. It's embarrassing. And we're looking there at Benfica. You know that Bayern are going to run away and easily win this group. So we're going to have to catch up there. It looks like Benfica. We've got four games left. Four finals now in this Champions League. And what I would say here is, it's not too late, Juan Laporta. There is still time to turn this around, but get Koeman out. You have to sack Koeman after this performance, after this game, after this season. Enough is enough. We've had it now. We've lost it. Tonight was the tip of the iceberg. Get him gone. So please, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I can absolutely guarantee I'm sure that you are just as angry, probably even more angry than I am right now. It's a joke. This is not a Barca team. I don't care if you lose. I don't care if, you know, you have bad nights, you have bad games, you have bad seasons. But do it in a way that represents this club. Do it with a bit of pride. Go out on your shield, not by lining up against Benfica with five at the back, sitting back against Bayern Munich, not having shots on target. This is not the way that we go down we have to get back up and to do that you start by getting rid of Ronald Koeman let me know all those thoughts down below there will be more to come because I'm really hoping there will be news soon I will see you soon guys 
And I'm sorry, I'm very, very sorry about that performance tonight. Because that, it's a joke. Vishka, Elbasa. Uh -huh.